The Distance Direction Tool. In the Civil AccuDraw Toolbar, it's this first one with the circle and the arrow inside of it. I'm going to select that one. Of course, you could use any MicroStation tool to use this, but I'm going to be in my Open Roads Modeling Workflow under the Geometry ribbon. I'm going to come down to Lines in the Horizontal Group, and I'm going to select Line Between Points. First, before I draw anything, I'm going to come down here to the Feature area, and I'm going to select a Feature Definition. I'm going to select the down arrow. I'm going to expand Linear. Then I'm going to expand Design. I'm going to go to Geometry. And I'm going to select Geometry Scratch. So now when I come out to my screen, you can see I have a distance and direction and a start point. So for my start point, I'm just going to come out here and dynamically pick a point. So somewhere down here, I'm going to left click to start my point. Now if I drag my cursor in the direction I want to go, I'm highlighted in my distance field so I can type in a distance. I'm going to type in 700, hit enter. Now it wants to know what direction I want and it wants a bearing format. I could type just a regular degree in there if I wanted, but I'm going to go ahead and type in N for north, 65 degrees, so 65, and then an E for east. That's what I want. Hit enter to lock that direction in. Now when I come out and move my mouse, you can see it's locked. I can just left click to accept it, and I have my line. If I'm finished, I can right click to reset. So that's what the distance and direction tool will allow you to do. Or I can do it a little bit differently this time. I'll come in here and left click to start my line. I'll type in 700 for my distance this time. Hit enter to lock that in. But this time maybe I want to use degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to enter in for north. I use 70 for the degrees. And then to split out the degrees, minutes, and seconds, you can use a colon. So I'll type in a colon. I'll do 30 minutes. Type in another colon. I'll do 15 seconds. And then an E for east. That's what I want. I'll enter to lock it in. Now when I move my mouse, that distance and direction are locked in. I can left click to accept it. I could keep going if I want. But if I'm finished, I'll just right click to reset the tool. There are a few other ways you can add the degrees, minutes, and seconds to a field. Using the colon between the values is probably the easiest way, but I'll go ahead and show you a list of some of the other ways you can do it. So to input a bearing in the direction field for Civil AccuDraw, the following are valid forms. You can use the colons between your degrees, minutes, and seconds. You can use a colon between the degrees and minutes in a single quote between the minutes and seconds. You can use a colon between the degrees and minutes. You can use a single quote between the minutes and seconds. And then you can use the double quotes to end off the seconds. And then this last one, you can use the caret between the degrees and minutes, and then a single quote between the minutes and seconds, and then the following double quote. And the caret symbol is just a shift with the number 6. So those are just some of the ways you can enter a bearing in the direction field. That's just one example of using the distance direction tool to place a line. I could also go out using my standard microstation place smart line or place line tools if I wanted to. But for this next example I'm just going to go out and place a point. So I'm going to come back up to my ribbon under my horizontal group. And I'm just going to select the point tool. And I'm going to leave my elevation mode set to none, my rotation mode set to none. And for my feature definition, I'm just going to pick land corner. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to set up an origin point to where I want this point to be placed from. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the O key for origin. Now where my cursor is, it's going to say select a reference point or reset to keep the currently selected one. So for my reference point, I'm just going to come down here and snap to the end of this line. So that'll be my origin. So now when I drag my point off that origin, you can see my distance is changing. 
So let's say I want the distance to be 400 feet. I'll just type in 400 and lock that in. So now when I move my mouse, you can see it's locked into that 400 foot distance. Now I can just type in my direction. So to make it easy, I'm just going to type in N for north, 50, and then E for east. Hit enter to lock that in. Now my point's locked into its position. I can just left click to accept it, and it placed that point. If I'm finished, I'll just right click to reset the tool. So those were just a few examples of how to use the distance direction tool in the Civil AccuDraw toolbar.